MV Augusta's secret five-cylinder trapezoid engine is beyond insane. Hi, this is Usain, and welcome back to HSR Motors, your ultimate daily dose of thrilling car and bike stories that redefine engineering and insanity. Before we start, a quick note. All clips, visuals, and references in this video are used strictly for educational and commentary purposes under fair use. Now buckle up, because today's story is one of the strangest and coolest things to come out of the motorcycle world this year. So, here's the big question. Why would MV Augusta build a five-cylinder motorcycle engine shaped like a trapezoid? And what does that even mean for performance, sound, and motorcycle design as we know it? Stick around till the end, because this one will twist your brain like a pretzel in a gearbox. All right, let's dive in. At this year's EICMA show, while the spotlight was shining on shiny production models and flashy electric concepts, MV Augusta quietly dropped a bombshell that almost no one noticed. They revealed a concept engine, a five-cylinder beast they call the Sink Cylindry. But here's the twist, it's not your typical inline-5 or even AV-5. This thing is shaped like a square, or rather, a trapezoid. Now, if that sounds confusing, that's because it is. It's the kind of idea that makes engineers grin and accountants cry. You see, MV Augusta has always had a flair for the dramatic. This is the company that made motorcycles that looked like art pieces and roared like angry symphonies. But this time, they've outdone even themselves. Their new engine is rumored to have three cylinders lined up in the front row and two sitting right behind, creating a compact trapezoid-shaped design. That means it's not only unique to look at, but also potentially revolutionary in balance, power delivery, and cooling efficiency. And yes, it's every bit as wild as it sounds. It actually reminds me of another mechanical oddball I once owned, a Volkswagen Passat W8. Yep, the one with half a Bugatti Veyron's heart squeezed into a family sedan. I bought that car for 10 grand, then spent another nine just keeping it alive for eight months. In the end, I probably should have just bought a motorcycle and saved my marriage. My wife still brings up that W8 like it's a bad ex. Remember when you brought that lemon home, she says. I remember, and I still kinda loved it. Because when it ran, it was glorious. For about a week. Now, MV Augusta's engine kind of brings that same madness back, the kind of, why would anyone do this? Energy that true gearheads live for. But here's what makes this even more fascinating. MV Augusta isn't talking. They've been almost mysteriously quiet about the specs. Journalists at EICMA tried poking around, myself included, and got little more than polite smiles and vague statements. But one representative, caught on video, did let a few juicy details slip. According to the translated clip, the Sync Cylindry engine is designed as a platform, meaning it can be adapted to multiple displacements, anywhere between 850 cubic centimeters to 1,150 cubic centimeters. That's already wild enough, but it gets crazier. The rep also hinted that this engine could make over 240 horsepower and more than 130 newton meters, or about 95 pound-feet, of torque. To put that into perspective, my old Passat W8 made around 280 horsepower, but it was dragging around a two-ton German tank of a body. This engine could make nearly the same power, but in something weighing less than a quarter of that. Imagine the sound. Imagine the vibration. Imagine the chaos, in the best possible way. Now, let's talk sound for a second. A five-cylinder engine already has one of the most distinctive exhaust notes in the world. Just think of the Audi Quattro Rally Monsters or the warbling growl of a VR6. Now imagine that same note compressed into a screaming, high-revving motorcycle. My prediction. Somewhere between a symphony and a chainsaw. Or maybe it'll sound like five espresso machines having a friendly argument. Either way, I want to hear it in person. The funny thing is, despite all this excitement, we don't even know if this engine truly exists beyond the prototypes on display. In an age where AI-generated products pop up all over social media, from fake supercars to imaginary gadgets, part of me wonders if this is MV Augusta trolling the motorcycle world. I mean, we're living in a time when AI can generate video footage of fake inventions that look 100% real. So maybe the sink cylindry is MV Augusta's way of saying, we can still surprise you, and maybe confuse you a little. But deep down, I hope it's real. Because motorcycle engineering needs a little madness again. In a world where everyone's chasing efficiency, range, and mass production, MV Augusta seems to be chasing something else, soul. 
And honestly, that's refreshing. So here's the mystery. Will we ever actually see a production bike powered by this five-cylinder trapezoid engine? No one knows. Maybe it'll end up in a limited-edition superbike, or maybe it'll just stay as a fascinating piece of engineering art displayed behind glass. Either way, it's got everyone talking, which, let's face it, might have been MV Augusta's plan all along. Because in a sea of predictable engines, it takes guts, and maybe a touch of genius-level insanity, to build something shaped like a trapezoid. Now, before we wrap up, let's answer that big question from the start. Why would MV Augusta make a trapezoid-shaped five-cylinder engine? Simple. Because they can. And because in a world of safe designs, someone has to be brave enough to do something weird, something that makes people like us stop and say, wait, what did I just see? Personally, I think it's brilliant. Sure, it might never reach mass production, but as an idea, it captures everything I love about motorcycles, creativity, courage, and the refusal to blend in. So now, I want to hear from you. Do you think this engine will ever make it to a real bike, or is it just a one-off concept to stir up excitement? Drop your thoughts below. I read every single one. And before you go, here's a fun fact. The last major five-cylinder motorcycle engine was the Honda RC211V, a MotoGP monster that dominated the early 2000s. If MV Augusta's sink cylindry is anything like that, we're in for a treat. If you enjoyed this deep dive, show your support by helping us reach our target. 10,000 likes, 1,000 comments, and some serious hype in the comment section to push HSR Motors up the YouTube leaderboard. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next story that'll make you question reality, or at least your engine layout. Because here at HSR Motors, we don't just cover machines, we uncover madness. See you in the next one.